Uh, sir, uh, in the first place, many congratulations about uh, winning the Sagar Sister Award. Tell us something about the awards and you know how many ports were part of it. We hear that amongst the 12 ports, you have actually won an award. So, something on that, sir. Thank you very much. So, this uh, yesterday was the golden day when we got this award. Yesterday, uh, our Honorable Minister, Mr. Sonowal, and in the presence of our Minister of State, Sri Naikji, so uh, the Green Port guidelines were launched first. So, these guidelines are called Harit Sagar. So, Harit Sagar is a kind of a document which the Ministry has come up with for sustainable initiatives in all the major ports of the country. Along with that, the awards were also distributed and uh, I'm happy to say that Marmagawa port won the award among all the major ports for the average uh, output per day. That is the total you know, cargo loaded or unloaded in a single day. So last year, the port created a record by uh, achieving 15,699 tons in a single day as against uh, 11,000 odd last year. So this kind of a jump and, uh, you know, the uh, very big jump in the uh, per day output of the port that has contributed to this award. This is a very significant award considering the fact that there are major ports involved in this. And this kind of an achievement is possible only if the different wings of the port work in unison and in a great synergy. So it's a great achievement for the port and uh, uh, with, with support from all of you and the local uh, the government, government of Goa also, I'm sure that we will achieve more awards in future because these awards will be given every year now called Sagar Shreshta Samman for different parameters to different ports. About the awards, and there are speculations that the port is living under financial pressures, and this is a very significant stage where the port is winning an award. Any additional cargo that the port is looking at, or any new cargo that the port has handled this year? See, we are looking at different uh, revenue streams. Uh, one is the major, the international cruise terminal, which is coming up. The work is going on in full swing, and by September, October, we'll be able to complete the. Uh, international cruise terminal and it will be operational uh, maybe by December, January, that is the expectation. So we will get more cruises and uh, that will be a new revenue stream for the port. We are trying to get some other additional uh, uh, cargo like gypsum, bauxite. We are also looking at some uh, other proposals like uh, bitumen storage uh, also in the port. So there are different options before us which we are examining and uh, I think this will bring more cargo and additional revenue to the port. Sir, uh, in the past we have seen that uh, the port you know, had container uh, ships to other parts and bringing all the containers. Somewhere there has been an issue, a long time issue, anything on that sir, container vessel that was uh, arriving to the port for the last so many years? See, containers, the main requirement will be the our uh, cranes, you know, the very big cranes so that, that kind of an investment is possible when you have a PPP model which we are looking at bringing uh, one of the one or two of the butts mechanizing it bringing cranes for additional you know the container business and another boost to that will be the port connectivity the road the four lane connectivity to the port will also be completed with the help of uh, the government of Goa also it is expected that it will be completed by November so that, that way also the connectivity of the port, the container trucks, etc., will be able to move faster. So we expect uh, that business also to go up. Sir, we remember when you first, uh, we took a first TV, you had said that you would bring the port back to its original glory. And today after winning the award, how does it feel as a new chairman who just taken over and even won an award? Anything that you want to say on that? No, this award is for the last year's performance and I should not, uh, I should uh, give it to the yeah, to my team, the who, who are in the port for the for the last year's performance. But as a leader uh, of the port, I'm just a kind of motivating all all my staff, and I'm happy that the ministry has also come up with uh, Harit Sagar these sustainable initiatives. Because uh, on the day of joining, I had also said that one of the priorities will be sustainable initiatives in the port. So we have got a big boost with the Harit Sagar policy also to introduce more and more green technologies. 
one thing we are working with uh, goa energy development agency is to uh, have a 3 megawatt solar energy you know generation in the on the land port land so that that discussion is going on with uh, geda and if uh, everything goes well we will be able to implement that over the next year so that the, the uh, bulk of the power requirements of the port can be met through the uh, through solar energy so that also will be a major boost to the sustainable initiatives of the port sir so after you taken over as the chairman uh, uh, the fishing harbor for them and i think you you even spoken to the state government about the permission anything on that any any follow up has been done on that yeah we are in touch with uh, the last week i had also uh, requested the secretary of fisheries also and he has promised uh, i think there will be a meeting uh, between my team and the director of fisheries very soon so main thing is to get the land without uh, you know uh, any issues then only we can start developing uh, the land get necessary approvals because otherwise the approvals will expire and we will not be able to develop the land so the chief secretary has also given the task to the, sec the secretary of fisheries so we are looking at some kind of a initiative from their side so so that we can go to the next uh, stage thank you so much sir. thank you thank you